Okay, let's make a context-free grammar for this language, which I'm informally writing as the set of palindromes over the alphabet 0 and 1. Recall that a palindrome is a string that is exactly the same forwards as backwards. So as an example, if we have 0, 0, that's a palindrome because it's the same one way as the other way. Uh, if we have the string 0, 1, that's not a palindrome because in this direction it's 0, 1, and this direction it's 1, 0. But if I add a 0 on the end here, now it's exactly the same forwards and backwards. And so note that we could have a string that is of length 2 or even any even number as well as any odd number. And so what we want to do is we want to make a context-free grammar for this. Of course, every context-free grammar has a start variable. So let's make a start variable here. And let's think about what a palindrome is. So if we have a palindrome right here, then what that means is that it's exactly the same forwards and backwards. Well, if we think about that, if we go this direction and then this direction, we must encounter the same character at the very beginning. In other words, the character at the beginning of the whole string is the same as the character at the end of the string because it's exactly the same forwards and backwards. So if I see a zero, for example, at the beginning, then I must see a zero at the end. And if I see a one at the beginning, then I must see a one at the end also. And so therefore, if I see a zero here, then what must appear in the middle, it must also be a palindrome, because if we take the ends off, it's exactly the same when read forwards as backwards. And so therefore, what goes in here is corresponding to generating any palindrome at all, because there's no correspondence between what happens in the middle and what happens at the end. And so therefore, if S is going to be representing the set of palindromes, Therefore, I must put an S here. So 0 followed by some palindrome, and then a 0. But also we can have a 1 followed by some palindrome and a 1 for similar reasons. Well, then what's the base cases? These are the inductive cases. Well, what are the really smallest palindromes we can have? Well, we can have the empty string. The empty string is exactly the same forwards and backwards. But if we look at what we have here, we'll never be able to generate this string because this has zero characters, and these two rules add an even number, in this case, two characters. So I'll never get any odd length string. But if we think about a string of length one, it's exactly the same, forwards and backwards. So therefore, I need to add the base cases of zero and one here. So now let's think, can we actually generate this string? Because we can obviously generate this string, and you should do it for yourself. If we can, can we do this one? so that we can apply this rule, then this S can now make the one over there. And so therefore, we have made a context-free grammar for all palindromes over 0, 1.